Today we're gonna to be talking about clean beauty. I'll be sharing my favorite clean beauty brands and products from the drugstore. Now before we get into this video, I think it's important to define what clean beauty really is. The truth is when a brand or product uses the word clean in marketing, there's not one universal definition. It's not like calling a product organic where obviously the ingredients need to meet a certain standards for them to be able to use that label. But in general, clean is just sort of a marketing word. It can refer to the ingredients in the product or the ingredients they leave out of the product. However, some retailers like Sephora and Target have their own criteria of what they consider to be clean beauty. So all of the products that I'm going to be talking about today are considered clean by Target and I'll let you know why they fall into that category as we go. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. First up, I don't think it would be a drugstore clean beauty video without talking about the queen of clean, Jessica Alba and her brand Honest Beauty. So the clean beauty standard that Honest holds themselves to is that they use plant-derived ingredients and they have a no list of over 2,500 chemicals or materials that they do not put into their products. So let's talk about some of my favorites from Honest Beauty. Starting off with probably my first discovery of the brand that really swayed me into trying more clean beauty, which was the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blush. This is a cream blush that is so easy to apply. You get this beautiful wash of color that you can really build up for more of a statement. It's pretty foolproof when it comes to cream blush. I know sometimes cream can be intimidating because it tends to go on a little bit heavier, but this is so easy to blend out. I have two, but my favorite shade is Coral Peach. It's perfect for spring and summer, and this just makes the skin looks so healthy and bouncy and you do get a slightly dewy finish. Next up is a product from Honest that I actually only recently started using because we are collaborating on some Instagram and TikTok projects together and they sent me this. It's the Honest Beauty Extreme Length Mascara and Primer. So I'm a huge fan of using lash primer when I want really dramatic lashes but I don't want to mess around with falsies. This is such a great primer and mascara duo. The primer is the first step. You coat your lashes and then when you add the mascara, you get a lot of volume, a lot of length, and a lot of lift that is locked in all day. Since they sent me this for the projects that we're working on, I've been using it almost every single day because I love the end result and it's just so convenient. Next up, one of my favorite products from the brand, the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick. This has sort of a demi matte finish. I am wearing it today in the shade Forever. These are so comfortable. They have hyaluronic acid and avocado oil in the formula, so when you put them on, even if your lips are a little dry starting out, they feel amazing. Now here's the weird thing about these is that they're not completely transfer proof. So if I'm drinking my coffee, I will end up with a little bit of a lipstick stain on the side of the cup, but the color actually lasts on the lips very well, even after eating and drinking. So when my lips are feeling parched but I still want to wear a liquid lipstick, these are the ones that I grab. And finally, my last favorite from Honest Beauty is their Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. Now I know I kind of gave this a mixed review in my last Shop My Stash because I did pull this to use for about a month and a half, but the truth is this is a really, really great setting powder. I just wouldn't use it for baking. It doesn't quite have the right consistency for that, but for just dusting all over the face to set the makeup and mattify, I really, really like it. It gives you a soft focus look, you don't look dry, and it seriously like smooths over fine lines and pores. This is a talc-free powder as well, part of the clean mission. Now what I really, really like about this powder is actually the packaging. If you watched my last video talking about it, you know, but when you open it up, there is this barrier so that you don't end up with a plume of powder in your face. And when you lift it up, it actually has a mesh sifter, which I feel gives a lot more control with how much powder you end up with on your brush. So a lot less waste with this type of packaging and I very much appreciate that. Now in the scope of drugstore beauty, Honest is a little bit mid-tier when it comes to their prices, but their quality is definitely there. And of course, Honest Beauty is also cruelty free. Next up, I wanna spotlight a specific collection within a brand that is clean and vegan. It's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Collection. So I did do a whole video on the launch of this 
this collection. I will leave that link down below. But in case you are unaware, CoverGirl was named cruelty free by Leaping Bunny, I believe in 2018, but this is their entirely vegan collection. And here are the reasons they consider it clean. It's made without sulfates, formaldehyde, phthalates, parabens, and talc. I still have a few of the original products, one of them being the Clean Fresh Cream Blush, one of my favorite cream blushes right now. It's so pigmented, easy to blend out. And I do actually prefer the tube packaging of this cream blush versus like the Honest one. I think it keeps it just a little bit more hygienic. Today I'm wearing the shade Sweet Innocence, which is one of the products that I did pull for this round of Shop My Stash. But my absolute favorite product from the CoverGirl Clean Fresh line is their tinted lip oils. I am absolutely obsessed with these. They give you such a beautiful wash of color that you can build up to be strong, but it still stays a little translucent. It's not sticky at all. It's not gloopy at all. It really drenches your lips in moisture thanks to the oil in the formula. It's made with coconut oil and pomegranate oil. I think CoverGirl has been doing a really great job at creating inclusive collections over the past couple years, whether that be with their shade selection, with foundations and concealers, or just giving us more options for people who are a little bit more picky with the products that they consume. So going all cruelty-free across the board, such a great move, and I really like that they do have an entirely vegan collection. Now you all know that one of my absolute favorite brands at the drugstore is Physicians Formula, which is considered clean by Target. Editing Miranda here. So I realized that the first two Physicians Formula products that I talk about in this video, they don't have the clean label on target.com, but I don't know why, because I'm looking at the ingredients and I'm not sure why they don't meet that standard. So not sure if it's a mistake or if I'm missing something, but just keep that in mind. Now, I did not want this video to be like 30 minutes gushing about Physicians Formula, so it was really hard for me to pick only a few products to highlight from the brand, but I would say these are probably my most used from them. So obviously, I would never be able to leave out the iconic butter bronzer. One of my absolute favorite favorite bronzers. There are several different shades. Some of them are shimmery or satin, others are matte. I use the deep bronzer. The iconic ingredients in the butter bronzer include Muromuru butter, Kupuaku butter, as well as Takuma butter. Those ingredients help the powder apply really smoothly on the skin while also sealing moisture in. Now on that same vein, one of my absolute favorite products that Physicians Formula has ever put out was their Whaley palette. So this is a six pan palette with bronzer, blush, and highlight. Super easy easy to store and travel with because of the slim packaging. A lot easier than all the original packaging of the butter products. I do have a full video about this palette. I will leave that link below, but this is just a really great shade range for year round use. Unfortunately, there is only one version of this palette though. So if these bronzers don't look like they're gonna be deep enough for you, then you're kind of out of luck. And that is one complaint that I do have with Physicians Formula is that a lot of their products don't cater to dark skin. Now with that said, they're getting a lot better with that in terms of their foundation options and concealer options, especially with the Healthy Foundation or their Natural Defense line, but they still have a little ways to go with the butter bronzers and butter blushes. Physicians also has an incredible eyeshadow formula that I really wish they'd start making more of. Last year they released their Rose All Play eyeshadow palette. I am wearing it today. This eyeshadow formula is so soft. It's the same sort of butter texture as the butter bronzer bronzer and butter blushes. Incredibly pigmented, really easy to blend out and blend together. And this color story is right up my alley. I love purples and mauves, so when this came out I was like, yes, that is for me. <laughs> These shadows contain goji, which has a lot of antioxidants, as well as cockadoo plum, which is a very rich source of vitamin C. And my last favorite from Physicians Formula is their Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. So this is from their organic line and it contains organic jojoba oil, natural Indian seneseed organic aloe vera and botanical cactus flower. So you get a really, really blendable and creamy application. It's what I'm wearing today and it's one of my favorite cream contours. I think it just ends up looking really seamless on my skin, very easy to use. Next, I wanna put a spotlight on Pixi Beauty. So I do use more of Pixi's skincare than I do their makeup, but they really do have some gems at the drugstore that fall into the clean beauty category. One of the best highlighting products that they've put out is their collaboration with Rach Loves here on YouTube. They have this highlight palette that is to die for. These powders are so silky. I used the shade T today and I love 
that blinding glow. These are definitely highlights that are gonna give you a strong glow, but y'all know that's what I'm all about when it comes to highlights. Now, if this looks a little overwhelming and you don't feel like you need all these shades, another great highlight product from Pixi is their Glowy Gossamer Duo. A lot more manageable for storage and travel purposes. This still gives you two options. One is a more pinky shade, the other is more of a neutral champagne. They are both so glowy and beaming. You don't end up with a lot of shimmer on your face. It just looks like a strobing glow. And these, along with the rest of Pixi as a brand, are cruelty-free and they're considered clean without having parabens or formaldehyde. And the duo is fragrance-free. Now another gem from Pixi when it comes to makeup is their Naturel Lip Lipsticks. They contain sunflower oil, jojoba oil, as well as vitamin E, so they glide onto the lips, have so much color, and they feel comfortable all day. Now these go on a little bit sheer at first, but you can definitely build up the color. The finish is sort of a demi-matte. It does not look dry at all. It looks really smooth on the lips. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the cardboard packaging and how it feels, but it is recyclable. Moving away from makeup, I want to talk about one of my favorite drugstore hair care brands. I believe I've spoken about them in passing before, but this is Maui Moisture. They make amazing products, especially if you have like curly or wavy hair, although they've got something for everyone. But sometimes it's just hard to find quality products at the drugstore that really really cater to the unique needs of waves and curls. So one of the products that is a staple in this household is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. It's a mouthful, but this is a great product. This is a leave-in for thick curly hair. It'll give you a little bit of definition and defrizzing. And most importantly, it keeps your hair feeling hydrated and smooth and manageable. And this product along with their others includes no silicones, no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no sulfated surfactants, and no synthetic dye. It's vegan, it's eco-friendly. This one is made with pure coconut water and pure aloe juice. So that's a great one to leave in. I've been using the Shea Butter Hair Mask. I absolutely love this stuff. This is great for dry damaged hair and you all know that over the past year and a half, two years, I've been color treating my hair. So even though now it looks the most natural it's been in a while, this is still color treated for me and underneath all this color is hair that was bleached at one point. So I still need to give it a lot of extra TLC and this mask is perfect for making it feel smooth and healthy and manageable. And finally, another product that I recommend from them is their Shea Butter Raw Oil. This is great to just add a little bit of moisture to the ends, kind of conceal some split ends and overall boost shine. Now with this brand, I do usually only use like their masks and styling products. I do love their shampoos and conditioners, but the bottles are really small and I just go through them way too quickly. So like with these products, the big jars, they're like $7.99 to $9.99, but they last a while. And the last clean beauty brand at the drugstore that I wanna highlight today is Derma E, which is a skincare brand that is not only clean in terms of the ingredients that it uses, but it's also very eco-conscious and they have environmental missions to help give back and reduce their carbon footprint. So first of all, they do have a refuse to use list with over 2,700 ingredients that could be toxic to your health or the environment. They are vegan, cruelty-free, soy-free, and gluten-free also. All of their packaging components are recyclable and they offset 100% of their electricity use with wind energy certificates. So all around, I really, really like what this brand does in every aspect of their product production. So a few favorites from the brand. Now, this product I've been using for so long and since we are in summer, I feel like this is a great one for you to pick up. This is the Derma E Essentials Sun Protection Mineral Powder with SPF 30. This is an amazing way to re-up on your sun protection throughout the day on top of your makeup. Now I know most of us will probably use a moisturizer or maybe even a foundation with SPF, but the truth is, first of all, you're not using enough to really get enough sun protection on your face. You'd have to use so much foundation for that. But on top of that, SPF needs to be reapplied. You can't just put it on in the morning and then be good for the rest of the day. Have you tried to do that at the beach? You'll probably end up with a sunburn. So this is a translucent powder that is really easy to use. It has a built-in brush, which makes it perfect for on the go. You can just dust it all over the face 
and it'll add a little bit of SPF right over your makeup without disturbing anything. One of my all-time favorite products from them, I know there are very similar products like this from higher-end brands. This is, I think, $20. One of the very first products that I tried from Derma E that is still one that I come back to time and time again is their Microdermabrasion Scrub. This is a really effective physical exfoliant. You can use it like up to twice a week depending on the sensitivity of your skin, but this is great to use to get rid of dry skin, dull patches, as well as acne scars. Now I've been using the Acne Blemish Control Treatment Serum for about two months now and I really think that it helps with clogged pores. Now I don't know if you can kind of see the texture under my foundation, but I do have breakouts right now. I think that has a lot to do with sweating under my mask. But this is a great serum with 0.5 salicylic acid as well as tea tree oil and aloe vera. So it is on the more gentle side for daily use. A good maintenance product for sure. Now one of their newer products that I'm actually almost done with with already is their Skin De-Stress Calming CBD Moisturizer. So they did just release a whole CBD skincare line. It's such an it ingredient right now in skincare. This moisturizer contains 500 milligrams of CBD and the ingredient in general is supposed to help with inflammation, redness, you know, just stressed out skin. So I've been using this at night and it does help me wake up with calmer looking skin. I wanna know, do you use any clean beauty in your routine? Tell me what your favorites are in in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Queen Cucumber. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I try on and review the new Revlon Wonder Woman makeup collection. I'll see you over there. Bye.